If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. This famous proverb is one of the main principles of the community and the space I'm representing today, that of Generator 9.8. We usually describe it as a social enterprise that we co-founded with my team of NGO last summer. That's a space which combines two main activities, co-working space by day and the social bar by night. This space offers different kind of cultural, social, educational activities on an everyday basis, organized by our community and not only. That's a space where people come, connect, collaborate, and create something useful together. One of the most exciting things is when people come to me and tell me, tell me that they feel some kind of special energy while entering the space that brings them back all the time. 18 months ago, the idea of generator didn't exist at all. But just two things did. The great desire of my team to create some kind of supporting platform for our community of individuals and organizations working for creating the social good in Georgia. And the second, to do it in an innovative way, adapting some of the ideas from sharing economy. So today, I want to share with you why we believe this space has some kind of special energy. And we believe because it's based on the ideas and principles of sharing economy that we call power of co, which includes four main ingredients, community, collaboration, co-visioning, and co-creation. Before going through each of them, let me explain what I mean under sharing economy because it's a very broad concept, and today I'm not going to speak about the Uber, Airbnb, and all those popular platforms that are still oriented to generate the profit for the corporations. But the sharing economy I'm going to speak about today is all about sharing the resources that we own but don't fully need with the others who are in need of them. The purest example I remember of it is the first floor of the squat this co-living space in France that we stayed once, where the community had organized very inspiring stuff for me. They were doing different activities to support each other and to support the community grow. They had free bike sharing, free shop, free cooking, leaving the stuff they did not need anymore, like clothes, instruments, equipment, books, and taking only those assets what they needed. There was no any seller, uh, not any controlling mechanism or money included. But the economy, totally based on trust, sharing, collaboration, and the common principles of the community. So we thought there, what if we do something similar in Georgia, but for our community, startups, social enterprises, NGOs, or individuals who are to, trying to do positive changes in Georgian society? to create this common physical platform where we can share the space, ideas, approaches, skills, and together, through collaboration, create something useful for other people. So that was an idea to create the co-working space in Tbilisi. You might think there is nothing new, nothing foreign for our culture, because tr uh, trust, share, exchange, it's quite common. And yes, I totally agree. That's the way how we survived until now, especially during the hardest parts after the collapse of Soviet Union. And still we do it today. That's very common to share with our families, friends, uh, neighbors, relatives. But still, when we started to research local reality, and we spoke with the people who had tried to adapt some of those ideas in Georgia, we found out that they were not so successful, they kind of failed. So we started to research the reasons. What were the challenges that became the obstacles for that? And we found out two main disconnects in our culture. The first was lack of sharing and trust outside of our usual networks. It's very common to trust share exchange with the family members, neighbors, relatives, and these limited circles, 
but we are quite hesitant to build trust with others outside of our circles. The second disconnect we found out, that was lack of civic duty. Uh, it's a very common issue in Georgia that we take care of the stuff which is under own property, but we care about less about the common goods that we collectively benefit from. Like how many of us is every day bothered with this terrible smell entering the entryways of the apartment buildings or the underpasses? We have this issue that we clean really well our flats, apartments, but we don't care about the rest. We just throw away the garbage in the middle of the street or in public spaces without any thoughts. So we were thinking, in order to adapt those ideas, first we had to organize this uh, two disconnects. And that's a place where we discovered the power of co. So let's go through each of them now. The central part of our process was the community. We were only six of us in our team of NGO, and our time, energy, resources, ideas were very limited. So in order to do something bigger, we had to enlarge our community. So we made the open call and invited like-minded people to join us. We had rented some kind of rectag garage, organizing the first gatherings there, and inviting people to join our team who was presenting these strange ideas they were hearing first time and asking to volunteer their time, skill, to the team who had no any practical experience in the field, no money and no idea how to do in real these things. That sounds quite crazy, but it worked. So those who really shared the vision and the sense of commitment with us stayed with us until the end. And not only. The community was quite diverse since beginning, and it is still now. And I remember the one guy who joined us at the very beginning, and he was incredibly sarcastic about the idea. Actually, he joined us to see how we would fail. And he is still with us, and I'll tell you later what happened with him. So let's go through back to our uh, ingredients. And the second is co-visioning. We had already a big community with the common goal to create co-working space in Tbilisi, but we had to find out the way how, how to do this, and to find the solution, how we find the initial investment, and how to think out the model that would be self-sustainable in the long term. And this was a long, long process trials of co-experimenting. We quickly found out that startup funders, banks, international donors were not interested in it. And that was a process where we realized that sometimes having a co-visioner in the team with less expertise is much more important than having good professional with great skills who doesn't share the vision, who would probably abandon us at the, in the middle of the process. So finally, we found out the solution perfect for us to create this social enterprise, we should fund the co-working space through income from a social bar. So now already we had the community, we had common vision, and we had to co-create it through collaboration. That was a time where we put on the table all our resources, connections, knowledge, expertise. Some of us could paint, some could build the furniture, some could cook for everybody or cheer up with the music. And in the melting heat of August last summer, we gathered all our co-visioners together, rolled up our sleeves, and started to transform Atonelli 29 into generator's home. So co-creation takes lots of time, patience. That's not an easy process, as it's not based on individual decision-making, but it's based on open discussions, debating, deciding all together, making common conclusions. But at the end, everybody is happy by the result, because everybody deserved it. And today, Generator is going to be driven by the same power of co. Our community is getting larger on an everyday basis. People are joining us to use co-working space to attend the activities, or volunteer and initiate some new ideas and co-create with other collaborators. For example, last week there was a guy from Russia entering Generator. He was an urban activist from Moscow. 
And while in formal interaction, we found out that he was quite curious to know more about local activities, street art, urban life, civic life. And he was very open to, hear, uh, to share his experiences around the world. So we provided him by the working space equipment, relevant groups of people he was interested in. He had a week to prepare to research. And at the end of the week, he organized the presentation with a public discussion. That's what if this kind of model didn't exist in the city? Definitely nothing we tell. Just the resource of this Russian guy and his inspiration to share his visions would have been wasted. And the opportunity for the local activists to get new inspiration, new ideas from outside world would have been disappeared. And today, this is the very simple example how it works, but there are different groups of people who are organizing, experimenting, different sharing economy platforms in Georgia, or startup network, experienced startupers sharing their hints and learns, learned lessons with newcomers through workshops, public lectures. Open stage is free for everybody who wants to communicate their ideas with newcomers or show their skills and talents. And do you remember that guy I was telling you before who joined our team at the very beginning with this sarcastic attitude? Today, he is one of the most active community members organizing the events every week in Generator. He went through all this past together with us. He met different people, learned new things. And today, he found the collaborators and is creating, developing new social enterprise, the shop where they will sell all the products of all the social enterprises around Georgia. So we believe, and the practice shows us, that this kind of physical spaces created by the shared vision can really work. We see it as an alternative way to create the social innovation and the platform for the people who dare to think differently and tackle the challenges in our society. The co, for me, is the way to see something beyond what is immediately possible. Like four years ago, when I first got inspired by co-working space in Barcelona, this huge building full of different professionals doing their job, collaborating together, and this air full of inspirational and creative energy, I could hardly imagine to do something similar in Georgia. And alone, only with my team's resources, we would not be able, definitely. But the co made it possible. We individuals can't make significant changes in society, but we need other co-people to make it possible. So today, we would like to invite all of you to join us, because we see and we believe that co can really make changes happen. Thank you very much.